grow trust in one another because if I'm going to be the good guy that doesn't harvest way out here, I'm going to be a good guy harvesting back so that together we go to sustainable yield. I've got to trust that you will do the same because if I'm a good guy and you harvest as much as you want, I'm a sucker. And humans don't like being suckers. You know, I remember going and talking to somebody at Duke University who was the Vice President for International Affairs and saying to him, I really want to go and work during my dissertation to see how communities manage their forests. And he just kind of laughed a little bit. Uh, he didn't think uh, it was a very useful thing to try to study. And I don't think anybody today would laugh at somebody wanting to understand why and how communities can effectively govern natural resources. And that's testament to what Min has accomplished. The presumption is that earlier was that the locals can't manage. I think it was just more common to think of the tragedy of the commons, to think that local people could not be part of the planning and the management of the resource. Well, we were working on trying to understand why some communities could manage their forest resources and benefit from them, uh, and in other cases, the forests were de de degraded. And we couldn't find it in the literature, so we went to her because she was involved in understanding, the, governing the commons. And she wrote a book, and when we found that uh, there were no trees in that. We asked her if she could help us understand, expand her work to include trees. Her book is one of the few uh, sustained examinations of trying to understand this question of why people work together. And she brought communities into this equation that mostly had governments or the private sectors as the solution to resource degradation. There are no silver bullets. There are no panaceas to the challenge of sustainability. Uh, there are many different kinds of ecological systems and we must understand that to have effective governance there need to be many kinds of governance systems. A lot of people when they first saw some of these results said if they harvest they'll take it all down. Having rights doesn't mean you have a right to clear an entire forest, but if you have no rights, why do you have any interest in protecting it at all? We have a very surprising finding, and it's very strong now because we've looked at it in multiple ways. When the users themselves monitor, forest conditions get better. Elena Ostrom's message is a message of hope rather than of despair. I think it's a message that understand, understands that humans are fallible, we make mistakes, but we also learn, and we must strive to learn from these mistakes so that we can be a little bit more flexible in our decision-making and adapt um, our decision-making or adapt the systems uh, as, we, um, as we learn.